folks, Dave from Gorilla Painting here with probably one of the first unboxings of the Horus Heresy Burning of Prospero. Now as we get started into this video I'll just let you know if you hear a bit of a bubbling noise coming uh, in the background that is from my home brew. Um, I've got a stout happily fermenting away um, but that does mean that there will be a little bit of noise interference in the background. But that's enough about that, let's take a look at this latest product from Games Workshop. So like previous Games Workshop releases, I've got a copy of this early because of my work. This is our demo copy um, and review copy and uh, it's great to be able to crack it open and get this video up for you guys to be able to watch on release day. So if you're seeing this, it's 10 in the morning on October 22nd or later, which means that we can finally share this video and what's in the box. So, as you can see from the front, it is Space Walls versus Thousand Suns. You've all seen the rumors by now, you've seen the videos, so I'm sure none of the contents of this will come as a surprise, but great looking artwork on the front. You've got these pyramids and stuff in the back. You've got Araman and Gygor, and the Sisters of Silence, Custodian Guard, and the Terminators and stuff there. So flipping the box over. Again, most of you will probably have seen this picture from the uh, the leaks, but this gives you an idea of the models and stuff which are inside, the tiles and whatnot. So, let's crack it open and see the mighty, mighty jungle of sprues. So, we'll start on this side because I know it's, this is the really exciting one. So this is the Custodians. So, as you will be able to see from here, there's a lot of options here. Um, you can choose swords or the uh, boulder halberds. Um, there's plenty of different head options as well. Let me just find one so we can zoom in on it for you. Um, there we go. It's easy to see them from this side. So, here's one of the helm options here and another one down here. So you can also assemble them with these big sort of imperial shields and stuff on the front. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of different ways you can put these together. Looks like there's a standard um, that you can have, so you can have a, a Signa Bearer and stuff like that. Um, they're in a sort of or ornate, almost Terminator-esque style armor, but uh, you're not seeing any, any power cables or um, power packs and stuff like that so um, yeah this is a really really cool sprue then here is the plastic Tardaros Terminator so you get a Reaper Auto Cannon um, you get some combi weapons as well um, a Plasma Blaster you got the choice of Lightning Claws you can give them or Bolt Guns and um, power fists and you can put them all with chain fist attachments so that's really wicked it's nice to have multiple sets of the different terminator armors available in plastic and getting down we're on to the mark 3 armor so mark 3 is one of my favorites um, i've got a lot of my pre heresy world eaters uh, done in mark 3 from the forge world kits so here we go. So you see there's quite a lot of options in terms of weapons again. You've got these really cool style chain swords. You've got a melter, plasma, plasma pistol. You've got a heavy bolter on there as well. And your various different leg options, arm options, um, extra bolt guns and stuff. The backpacks come in two halves. So you see those up here. You get a power fist and a lightning claw on here as well, and you get one of these little um, signers as well, which is really cool. So there are two of these sprues, I believe. Yep. Two, three. Three sprues. So each one should do 10 guys, I believe, um, to give you a total of 30. But as I showed you, there's uh, plenty of different options in terms of customizing these guys. All righty. Getting further down, more legs, more arms. Um, so these will go with your other, the other sprues which I showed you before, I believe. Yep. 
and another set of torsos and bolt guns. And then we're on to the Sisters of Silence. So these are a new, completely new sculpt. We've never seen these out in the wild before from Forge World or from Games Workshop. And people will be pleased to see that you have options of close combat weapons or ranged weapons. So there's looks like there's enough bolters or flamers um, to outfit the whole squad. Plus you've got sheath swords as well as drawn swords. They've all got these big sort of two-handed claymores. And how many bodies we got? So it's five all up. And you've got some really cool ornate looking cloaks. Uh, one's fully decked out in fur. Some have fur trimming with this sort of filigree and stuff on the bottom. So those are looking really nice. And then the two characters. So we have Gygor on the left and Araman on the right. So these are the only models which are specific to any chapter or Legion I should say, um, and these ones are the only single pose ones. Everything else in the box, all these sprues here, are fully modular and you can do them in a number of different ways. Now that we're through Sprue Jungle, it's time to look at the rest of the box. So we've got a nice big bag of bases, hopefully they're all in there this time. I know they had some uh, packing issues with the first wave of um, Warhammer Silver Tower, Warhammer Quest Silver Tower down here in New Zealand, um, but uh, hopefully that's been resolved this time. So now we've got the Burning and Prospero cards. So I'll just carefully get us into here. So you have these sort of willpower, or will save ones I think they are, and then a variety of psychic powers, warp tokens and things like that. Having not read the rule book, I'm not sure what these cards do, but they're a nice big size. Um, unfortunately you will probably have at least one or two of them which have got a little bit of uh, impact damage there, just from the sprues in the box. Then we've got our bag of dice. So in the first, for a long time from Games Workshop, we've got multiple different polyhedrals. So as well as your D6, you've got D10, D8, and a D12. So uh, that's nice to see, but it uh, looks like we've got a few... Well, this bag in particular has got one, uh, one set of dice which has got a bit of a misprint on it. Um, as you can see there, they haven't uh, actually carved in properly, so... Hopefully that's just uh, this box which has them. And we have our nice rule book. So I'll get my trusty unboxing knife and we'll uh, crack this one open as well. Alright, so we unleash the new rule book smell. So, there's actually a few books in this one. So, we've got the profile sheets. So, you see here they're using the different weapon options there in terms of dice wise. So, that's pretty cool to see. Who knows, maybe it will make its way through to whatever the uh, next edition of 40k, whenever that happens. And then the rules, which has got Armin and the Legions at War with Gygor. So,. Gives you an idea of what your models are going to look like once you've built them up. General principles of the game, psychic phase, yada yada. And then some scenarios. So we'll flick through to the end. There are six scenarios in total. So I was expecting a little bit more than that in here, but still cool nonetheless. Now, here is... A little bit of background information on the Thousand Suns, the Space Wolves, and it gives you sort of an introduction to the big wide world of the Horus Heresy outside of the box game. It's pretty nice. This is a very big instruction manual. So you can see there's a breakdown of all the models. 
should be all relatively straightforward to put together um, but as I said there are a lot of modular options on these ones but that's really cool to see and then we have got the tiles so I won't crack this open now but um, you're looking at quite a good thick gauge uh, looks to be about three or four millimeters thick probably three millimeters and on the top this seems to be some counters um, like a crash jet bike and uh, some various different psychic powers and stuff like that and then oh this is pretty cool you get some plastic bags to put your counters and stuff in and then we have the transfer sheet so thousand suns at the top and then space wolves at the bottom so this is the same price point as Horus Heresy Betrayal at Kalth. Similar sort of model count as well um, in terms of how many uh, how many space marines and characters and stuff like that you get. Obviously you're getting a little bit more variety in the way of dice so that's going to be quite useful for uh, war gamers who are used to D6 games um, and who don't do sort of role playing on the side like I do. And you get a whole whole lot of miniatures and these are all brand new sprues haven't been seen um, or haven't been available outside of this box set before which is really cool um, it's got one of the most popular armor sets there in the mark 3 you get a huge amount of weapons options and stuff for all of them you get the sisters of silence and you get the custodian guard so all up this is a very very nice mm -hmm box set um, it's fairly high up on the price point especially down here in uh, Australasia um, New Zealand dollars we're looking at 315 for this one so the same as uh, Petrail at Kauth but uh, it's a really really cool product and if you're just looking at getting started into um, the Horus Heresy setting 30 marines in here plus your terminators and stuff gets you well on the way to a reasonable sized uh, force once you start adding some vehicles and dreadnoughts and stuff like that. So if you bought one of these and a betrayal at Kauth, you would uh, probably have about a 1500 point army or so worth of stuff. So that's pretty good to see. So until next time guys, uh, thanks for watching and happy modelling.